the document series of the Joseph Smith Papers is important because it forms the backbone or spine of the collection. The document series is an excellent way to understand Joseph Smith and his life because it gives you the pertinent documents and it gives them to you in a chronological order so that you can see what comes before and after them. When you see the documents in isolation, you don't always have that context. This is one of the very earliest Joseph Smith documents. This is an agreement that he signed on April the 6th, 1829, in order to obtain a right to the home in which he and his wife Emma were living. So as you can see here in the document itself, this agreement was made and concluded the sixth day of April in 1829. And then down here we have the signature of Joseph Smith Jr. as well as Oliver Cowdery. We have an appendix in one of the documents volumes that talks about characters that purport to come from the Book of Mormon. They resemble in many ways one of the early transcripts. One of the most important aspects of the Joseph Smith Papers Project is giving individual members of our church, individual scholars, individual people who just have a passing interest in Joseph Smith, a chance to look at the documents that were generated by him or around him without having any kind of intervening interpreter. There's no biographer, there's no one else standing between you and Joseph Smith. And I think that's the best way to get to know Joseph Smith by looking at his documents directly and not through the filter of a biographer.